Hey, hey, yo, what's up, everybody? Holmes here, and we're back with some more Demon Souls walkthrough, rewalkthrough, not playthrough, with my magic build. And yeah, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be taking on the, I think, was it the old hero? Or the, I don't know, <laughs> something hero. Anyways, and that's the guy right there. Uh, make sure you have the thief ring on for this fight. I actually swapped out my um, fragrant ring for... The ring of magical sharpness so we can have a little bit more uh damage when we use firestorm yep keep talking about how good this is and i get to finally show it off properly this time and yeah here we go Would you look at that? He's also in soul form. <laughs> so, it's gonna creep around him. And then, Firestorm, bitch. Look at his HP drop. Well, I get it. Which is insane. He's almost dead. <laughs> Let's finish him off. There you go. Power of Firestorm. Of two hits. I feel like maybe we could have one shot at him. I don't know. But yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's it. That's all for this boss fight. Oh man. It's, it's really something. Yeah. I feel like it doesn't work as well against like regular enemies because they they get sent flying and I suppose like when they're on when they get knocked over, like flying, um while you're on the ground, like laying flat, uh, you get invincibility, I think. So, it only does like the initial hit, and then that was it. It doesn't like follow up, like, because the boss don't, you can't send the boss flying, so you can just keep applying them damages. So, yeah, really good. So, from here on out, like, all the boss is pretty much gonna be cakewalk. Well, the ones that we can hit with Firestorm, anyways. Because um, the boss, the next boss for this area, we cannot hit with Firestorm because this guy is going to be flying. And it's going to be kind of like a gimmick fight, like the Dragon God. Except, you guys will see. It's, for me, I think it's a gimmick fight. So here's Bior, he's here now. And where's Saint Urbus? I think that's his name. And also, oh, there's some... um. I think she teaches you miracles as well. Pure faint stone. Hold up. Does she not teach us anything? Okay, whatever. Uh, I don't think this guy teaches us anything as well. He's just here. I think these two only show up after you rescue him. Thanks to his holy miracles, isn't it? I don't, like, <laughs> really use spells in this game, so... Yeah. So we got, like, all these magical shit. Hidden soul. It's only good for hiding. I don't know why he didn't just use that, you know, against the Black Phantom on the ground. Uh, God's Wrath. This is... I think it's... Decent. I know people who spam this uh, in Dark Souls 1 to like knock people off ledges and stuff. That's what I remember the most. This is actually pretty good. Second chance. So like if you're playing through a higher difficulty, this is going to come in clutch. Because um, just in case of like one-shotting. It doesn't save you from fall though. Like if you fall off somewhere into the abyss, it's not going to, you're not going to spawn back. So yeah, but if you do get like one shot or something like that, you'll then come back alive. 
um, regeneration. I guess this can be decent. Since it'll just like heal you slowly. I don't know. It's got some interesting stuff, but cure poison, that's pretty good as well. Yes. I, I certainly cannot force you to touch, you must remember. Souls. So, yeah. You're gonna need, I think, two playthroughs to get everything. Uh, what am I doing? <laughs> Let's check out and see if they, if they have any new spells. Nope. Uh, I wonder if Yuria has any new spells. Not that I am hurting for any new spells. Curse weapon's actually pretty good as well for melee melee builds. Uh the next okay, we don't I don't really care what ring we have for the next fight, because um like I said, it's a gimmick fight, so not gonna matter much. Uh, I guess we'll up our our intelligence is already at five. Oh, actually, we can learn miracles without having to worry about the slots because it's a different thing. Okay, that's good to know. Let's just up our magic so we can hit harder. That's good. Oh, also Patches is now here as well. well, well I'm glad you here. remember me. You should sure hope you do because you're about to get toasted. So he sells fresh spice as well. Um, oh, Arch Stone Shard. This is very good if you want to just like do some side quests, but you don't have like you don't want to run back to another Arch Stone. Uh, just to you know warp back. Or use um, one of those things where you warp back and you lose all your souls. You use this one, tran it'll transport you back to Nexus and you won't lose anything. So it's pretty good if you want to just do side quests or pick up some stuff. Uh, we'll buy this. Nice stuff, eh? and that'll be all. For now. And let's go and pick up some miracles, I guess. Since I forgot they are in different slots. Um, <laughs> I kind of want second chance. Second chance and regeneration. I think that might be good. Or heal. You know what? Let's do this for now. And then attune them. And you can learn, uh, I mean, you can use miracles with talismans. So now we can use it. Like, we can have our, um, what do you call it? Sword out, and we can still use miracles. And we'll experiment with more of that when we take on, like, um, another area. So after the next world, we'll probably go with, I guess, Valley of Defilement. So we can actually get the moonlight sword and use it some before I wrap up the game <laughs> because we're like taking down areas pretty damn fast now so yeah this is gonna be good this is gonna be fun go back to Shrine of Storms and we will wrap it up for this episode oh and the word I was like freaking choking on yesterday was distinguish <laughs> I was. I wanted to say those exploding balls do not distinguish friend or foe. It will explode. Well, the explosion will kill either or, you know. So that's the word I was looking for. God damn it! I was like fucking choking on it. Didn't know what you want to say. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you all so very much for watching. Hopefully, this video has been entertaining or helpful or enjoyable. And we all found at least one of those qualities to be in this video. Hey, stay tuned for more. But until next time, I'll catch y'all later. Holmes. Uh, oh.